Hi there, I'm Rod Bergeron and welcome back to another quick and easy watercolor painting. Today we're going to do, uh, you know, something a little bit more experimental. We're going to wet the whole, we're going to wet our whole page. I think if you think of all your work that you're doing, you know, whether you're watching YouTube videos with me or you're in a class or whatever, I think if you think of it all as experiments, uh, you'll have more fun with it. This is a flat watercolor brush, and this is just some Payne's Gray right out of the tube. And we're gonna make a hill sort of coming down into a valley sort of thing like this. We're gonna take a little bit more of this. And just sort of make this coming across the fields like this. All right, that's not too bad. So we're gonna set that aside. I'm gonna go back to this flat brush and just get a little bit more water on it. And I want this to bleed. And I want there to be some bloom sort of up here. So I'm just gonna to touch this onto, just gonna to touch it onto that and see if I can't get that to, to bloom up a little bit and you know maybe make some trees for us. Now, Across here, let's see if we can't tap. So I'm just tapping the brush, just tapping the brush onto the page to add a little bit more water in there to get some of this to move a little bit further for us. So again, I'm not necessarily touching that Payne's Gray that I put on there. I'm touching the page and I'm just touching the brush onto the wet area. All right, so let's uh, let's introduce another color into this. I got my this is a number four watercolor brush, and I'm picking up some sienna here, and I'm going to add some sienna into some of these places like that. Just let that bloom. See what happens here. Well, that's quite the reaction. Uh, you don't usually get that reaction from adding. Sienna in there, but let's see what happens. And then I'm going to get a little bit of um, this is sort of a very browny red. I'm going to add this in. Uh, and you see, I'm not stroking that on there, I'm just touching it and letting it go to wherever it is it's going to go. I don't usually add any blue to this, but something's telling me that I should, you know, maybe just touch a little bit of blue into this in some spots. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm painting very intuitively. I'm just letting, just looking at the colors that are on there and just letting my mind sort of take me to wherever, you know, whatever it is those colors think they should go to. And then we're going to walk away from it. We're just going to let it dry and see what happens to it. So again, think of it as an experiment. Don't think of it as, you know, you're trying to create anything. Just think of it as, you know, I'm intuitively trying to put paint on the page and see what comes out of it. I had the idea of landscape in my head, but that doesn't mean that that's what it has to turn out to be. Um, I have here a watercolor brush that I sharpened a tip on and um, I'm just gonna go through some of that. I'm just going to add some lines and see if I can't make some grass or some foliage in the very near foreground. And you see how that's blooming out of there? That's pretty cool looking. That's really looking like a tree line or something back in there. Nice. And again, I'm just going to 
scribe a couple of lines in. Can't really see, you know, I can't even, I can't really even see what, um, what those lines are going to be because of how much water and everything is there. And what happens is, is as you drag that line across, the pigment flows into that line and it'll make it quite darker like that right there. Let's let this dry and uh, we'll come back and have a look at it. Okay, that actually took a really long time for that to dry. The page was super wet, but I'm really pleased with the way this turned out here. And you can see all my little scratch marks that I made across the bottom down here. Look at how that all turned out. That is super cool, eh? So you really, really never know when you're scratching into that wet uh, paint. You really never know what it's going to turn out to be. So here it is with the little mat on it. And you can see it's got, uh, it's kind of got its own little life, doesn't it? It's, uh, it's a pretty interesting little painting. All right. Thanks for watching today. If you're currently a subscriber, I thank you very much. And if you're not currently a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know where you're from. If you could drop me a question or a comment, I would really appreciate it. Thanks again. I love the way this little field turned out right here. See that? Like no work and uh, you end up with this little light colored field and all this tree line coming down this hill. I actually like this one. I might sign it. Yeah, I'll put my little RB right there. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.